Hi guys! This short tutorial video will show you how you can create custom in-house animated videos using a PC program you probably already have, PowerPoint. All done with one slide, graphic, text, and built-in animations. As we go along, tweet questions to at enroll SWFL. I will show you how we put together one of our favorite videos, our provider word of the week video. As you can see, all you need is one slide, and I've created all of the graphic and text that I will need, and I have moved it off of my workspace until I will need it. If you have any familiarity with creating PowerPoints, the graphic and text won't be new to you, but what you may not know is that you can manipulate built-in animation features to create a professional style clip in just minutes. I begin by moving my What is a Provider text box to my blank slide. In the top of my animations bar, I'm going to make the text box appear. Then, to the right hand side of my screen and the animations pane, I can customize when the animation starts. I will then do the same thing for my next text box. Have it appear and customize it so it appears slightly after the first text box. Now I want the text boxes to both go away at the same time. So I click Add Animation and choose Disappear and I will do this for both of my text boxes. In the animations pane, I will adjust the timing so the text plays on the screen long enough for the average person to read it. Now, even though we can see the text on the slide, if you think about the animations pane as a slideshow timeline, at this point in the timeline, we're back to a blank slide. So I'm gonna move on to my next text box. I add the grow and turn animation for a fun effect. And I have the animation start after the previous with a few second gap in between. Now, we're moving in our provider graphics that you see here at the bottom below the slide. Each provider graphic will float in or up as their animation and their text box description will appear as their animation. For each provider, these two items will appear at the same time. Each separate provider's animation will be scheduled to occur after the previous one in the animations pane. Now that all of our providers have appeared, we're going to have three of the providers disappear in addition to their descriptions, so we can focus on the primary care physician, or the PCP. If you hold down your shift key on your keyboard, you can select more than one object at a time. So I've selected the provider graphics and their text box descriptions. Now, when I select add animation, and choose disappear, it adds that disappear animation to all of the objects that I have selected. I want this disappear animation to start several seconds after the previous animation. The next thing we want to do is emphasize our PCP. We will do this by adding two animations. The first one is a grow and the second one will be adding a motion. The second, um, the second one, which is the motion, will be um, choosing a diagonal up right. 
And I'm going to tone down the diagonal upright line, which is um, put in by default, so he doesn't go so far into the center of the slide, as you can see me toning it down on the slide there. Then we'll bring in our next text boxes. The first one we will um, bring in is our green text box explaining what a primary care physician is. Um, we'll have him, we'll, we'll have it grow, turn in, and we'll have it start right after the previous animation. Then we want this text box to disappear to make room for the next one. So we add animation, choose disappear, and have it start several seconds after the previous animation. Now we'll do the same thing with the blue text box. We will position it onto the slide. We'll choose grow and turn animation because that one is pretty fun after all and have it start after the previous. We will add, um, add an animation to disappear several seconds um, just as we did with the previous text box. Now, since we are close to the end of the clip, we're going to be needing to get rid of our doctor provider graphic. So, we'll select the doctor graphic, choose add animation, choose the disappear animation, and just have it disappear um, when the pre with the previous animations. So everything exits seamlessly and everything um, leaves the slide together. Now the last portion of the clip will be leaving your consumer with a call to action. Our call to action is need insurance or have questions? Call your local navigator. Now you're going to drag the text box to the center um, of the slide and simply choose the appear animation and we'll have it start after the previous animation. Then Position the text box um, brought to you by Enroll Southwest Florida, which is a separate text box. You'll position it kind of at the bottom of the slide. You'll choose the appear animation, and we want it to start with the previous animation, so both the call to action and brought to you by appear at the same time. Um, we also want this to disappear, but we want it to um, be on the slide for about seven to eight seconds. So we want this information to be on the screen enough time for the consumer to be able to read it and absorb the information. You'll add the disappear animation in order to complete the clip. And once all your graphics and text boxes have all been utilized, it's important to give it a test run, so let's preview it and see how it looks. If everything looks good to finalize, we want to create this into a video. So we go to File, Save and Send, Create a Video, then choose Create a Video, and PowerPoint will export it into a file where then you can import it into Movie Maker to add music or upload it straight to YouTube or social media. Um, we usually like to put it into a third-party program like Movie Maker to add some music in the background just to jazz it up. So um, 
people are a little bit more engaged while they're watching um, and absorbing the information. Um, and if you have any questions for us, please tweet your questions to in, um, at EnrollSWFL, and I will make sure to answer them after the presentation. Um, all of our Word of the Week and other animated videos that we do, um, we put on our social media, so please follow us at EnrollSWFL on Twitter, um, Enroll Southwest Florida on Facebook, and on our YouTube site, which is Enroll Southwest Florida. So thank you for watching, and I hope to watch your um, animated videos that you will make through your PowerPoint software.